students we will see with the fourth type of problem in inverse transform by convolution theorem so given question is find the l inverse of s plus 2 upon s square plus 4s plus 5 the whole square using convolution theorem now take a note here do not split this s upon this and 2 upon this it is wrong okay so what we have to do is take s plus 2 on 1 divided by s square plus 4s plus 5 the whole square I, uh, whole square here uh, one bracket will be taken here into 1 upon s square plus 4s plus 5 the another term okay so do not uh, do not split the numerator only split the denominator here okay if here bracket the square is there then you have to split into two or else you have to keep on one term s plus 2 and other term it will be 1 upon just take a note of this okay denote one function as f of s another function as g of s any one you can denote so once i will denote as f of s as s plus 2 upon s square plus 4s plus 5 g of s is 1 upon s square plus 4s plus 5 once we get f of s we have to find for f of t that is l inverse of f of s l inverse of f of s means it is s plus 2 upon s square plus 4s plus 5 Similarly, g of s, it is finding for g of t, l inverse of g of s. That is l inverse of 1 upon s square plus 4s plus 5. Now to find the l inverse, if you observe in the denominator, uh, this whatever is there, we, there is no standard result for this. We have to simplify from the back what we have learnt and then find for l inverse. If you observe in the denominator, we are having a quadratic equation which is not a or a perfect square okay as we have studied uh, the uh, inverse transform by perfect square method here also if you observe the denominator the quadratic equation is not a perfect square in both of the denominators so I will try to simplify in one only that only I will be using for this function and for this function so to solve by the perfect square method I will split this 4s into 2 uh, into 2ab form this is a square plus 2ab if a square is s then a is a square is s square then a is s so this becomes a square plus 2ab what is not there b square is not there so i will add b square and subtract b square and this 5 i will write it as it is hence a square plus 2s into s plus 2 square i will combine it as one term 2 square it is 4 plus 5 minus 4 plus 5 it will become plus 1 and this will remain as it is. This is as good as s plus 2 the whole square plus 1 that is s plus 2 the whole square plus 1 square is the splitting up of the denominators. Now usually when we are applying for the completing square format in this problem if you make the denominator in the form of s plus 2 in the numerator also you have to make s plus 2 so if you observe in the numerator directly it is s plus 2 only so you need not have to make it so directly we can solve for the further concept now to start here it will be here we have to go with i have written a remark here as numerator of f of s is already in the form of s plus 2 so consider f of t what is f of t l inverse of s plus 2 upon s square plus 4s plus 5 it was so i am substituting that as s plus 2 the whole square plus 1 square in the numerator and the denominator where all s is there you are finding it as s plus 2 so we will apply for the which property it is shifting property so i will take this as e raised to a t that is e raised to minus a t into l inverse of s upon a square plus 1 square so this is l inverse of cos t so e raised to minus 2 into cos t so f of t is this then what will be f of u it is e raised to minus 2 u cos u similarly g of t also in the same manner we had only in the denominator the term so i have substituted that s square plus 4s plus 5 as s plus 2 the whole square plus 1 square so hence 
here signal uh, here bracket this square has come and it is in the form of s plus 2 so what we'll do is we'll again apply for the first shifting property that is e raised to minus 2t okay into l inverse of 1 upon s square plus 1 square that is e raised to minus 2t that is a upon s square plus a square format it is that is sin a t upon a a is how much 1 so hence g of t is e raised to minus 2t into sin t once we get g of t just replace t by t minus u so this becomes g of t minus u is equals to e raised to minus 2 into t minus u into sin of t minus u that is g of t minus u is equals to multiply this 2 inside so e raised to minus 2t plus 2u into sine of t minus u this now when we get f of u and g of t minus u we will consider for convolution theorem what is the convolution theorem stated as l inverse of f of s into g of s is equals to integral f of u into g of t minus u du where u ranges from 0 to t hence L inverse of s plus 2 upon s square plus 4s plus 5 into 1 upon s square plus 4s plus 5 is equals to integral f of u is e raised to minus 2u into cos u into g of t minus u is e raised to minus 2t plus 2u into sin of t minus u du. Split the power here we know that e raised to e raised to a plus b can be splitted as e raised to a into e raised to b. So I have splitted this e raised to minus 2t plus 2u as e raised to minus 2t into e raised to 2u. Bases are same, powers get added. So e raised to e raised to minus 2u plus 2u will become equals to what? e raised to 0 that is 1. So hence e raised to minus 2t is acting as a constant with respect to u. So remove it outside the integral. So e raised to minus 2t integral cos u into sin of t minus u du. Hence now we need to integrate. Now when we are integrating observe now it is a product of two functions. So what type of functions those are? Those are trigonometric functions. So again I cannot apply Bernoulli's rule nor integration by uh, sorry parts so now how to integrate so to integrate i'm going to apply for transformation formula which is that cos a into sin b cos a into sin b formula is 1 by 2 sin of a plus b minus sin of a minus b that is cos u into sin of t minus u that is 1 by 2 sin of u plus t minus u minus sine of u minus t plus u because b is now minus b so this becomes minus t plus u plus u and minus u will get cancelled you are remain with sine t minus this u and this u will make it 2u so sine of 2u minus t hence this quantity must be substituted over here so this becomes L inverse of S plus 2 upon S square plus 4S plus 5 the whole square is equals to E raised to minus 2T integral. This quantity I will be substituting it as 1 by 2 sin T minus sin of 2U minus T du. Now what I am going to do this 1 by 2 will come out. So 1 by 2 when it comes out I am remained with. This becomes e raised to minus 2t upon 2 into integral u equals to 0 to t sin t minus sin of 2u minus t du. Now we need to integrate this separately. So integration of sin t with respect to u, please be aware of that. Sin t's integration with respect to u will become sin t into u because sin t is acting as a constant. It will come outside the integral sign. So what is the term to be uh, integrated here? It is 1. Once integration with respect to u is u. So answer is sin t into u. Minus as it is. Sin's integration is minus cos 2u minus t 
divided by 2 because coefficient of u must come in the denominator. So it is plus 2. Simplify the signs. e raised to minus 2 t upon 2 sin t into u minus of minus it is plus cos 2u minus t upon 2. So u ranging from 0 to t. Now upper limit minus the lower limit. Open a flat bracket. Upper limit is t. So sin t into t plus 2t minus t it is t upon 2 minus lower limit is 0 into anything is 0. 0 into 2 it is 0. 0 minus t it is minus t. So cos of minus t upon 2. So this, beca this doesn't become t square. It is t sin t. Do not multiply this t to this t. So it is t into sin t. Cos t upon 2. Cos of minus theta is cos theta. So cos t and this minus it will become minus cos t upon 2. So this will get cancelled. I am remained with t into sin t. Therefore L inverse of s plus 2 upon s square plus 4s plus 5 the whole square is equals to t into e raised to minus 2t sin t upon 2. Hence the solution for the given L inverse. Thank you.